Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Space Between with the City of Cape Canaveral. My name is Lexi Miller, and I work with the Community and Economic Development Department. With me today is Georgiana Gillette, Executive Director for the Space Coast Transportation Planning Organization. Georgiana, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for the invite. Well, just to start off, can you tell us a little bit about the Space Coast TPO and what it is that you all do? Certainly. Um, the Space Coast TPO is responsible for, um, you know, determining what transportation projects we're going to need over the next 20, 25 years, uh, and then work with our local governments uh, and the Florida Department of Transportation to prioritize and fund the projects. So we're really looking at transportation holistically, and basic, basically we help bring everyone to the table for regional planning. Well, that's really awesome. Um, where, where does the city of Cape Canaveral fit into all of that? Sure, well, Cape Canaveral staff uh, and elected officials play an important leadership role in the decision-making process on our technical and citizens advisory committees and the TPO's governing board. Um, engaging the public is also very important. Um, our public involvement team is very active uh, in community events. Uh, to engage with the public about transportation safety and community concerns. So it sounds like you all have a lot going on, definitely. Um, you know, we love to hear that there's a safety education and component happening out there in our communities. And I have to assume then that pedestrian safety is a huge part of those conversations. Oh yes, um, especially when, you know, we come to cities like uh, the city of Cape Canaveral. Uh, there's a lot of traveling around our beach communities. Uh, and it's important to remind everyone that they play a role in safety, whether they're driving, walking, or riding a bike. So what are some of the things that your team might bring up when you're talking about safety in our communities? There's a lot of confusion about the laws regarding where people are allowed to cross the street. Um, you know, no matter whether they are marked or not, all sides of an intersection are considered a crosswalk. Wait, so even if there's no paint on the ground, no stripes, uh, there can still be a legal crosswalk at an intersection? Exactly. Uh, if you're driving along a road and there is a cross street, you need to stop for people crossing uh, in the unmarked crosswalks at those intersections. So, it, you know, it's not just a kind thing to do. Uh, it's required by Florida law uh, to stop for, for pedestrians crossing in legal crosswalks. Okay, so you say legal crosswalks. Are there illegal crosswalks? Not exactly. Um, the law is singling out legal to separate when people cross mid-block, um, meaning not crossing at an intersection at all. So in those cases, the person who's crossing mid-block, not in a marked or unmarked crosswalk, is required to yield to vehicular traffic. Okay, that's, that's interesting. That's not something that I was entirely aware of. Um, so when someone's crossing mid-block, is that when it's considered illegal jaywalking? Jaywalking is not a legal term, uh, and it is completely legal to cross the street almost anywhere. The only time it's not legal is when it happens to, uh, to be between two signalized intersections with no side streets. Um, typically only found at a downtown setting, but crossing mid-block, which is often labeled as jaywalking, uh, is legal in almost all situations. So based on what you're saying, then it, it sounds like you can legally cross the street just about anywhere you want. Is, is that safe? Legal doesn't mean safe. Um, you know, we hope that drivers uh, will do the right thing, but if they don't, uh, you know, we, we're vulnerable while walking. So, you know, we just have to remember that at intersections, uh, drivers are supposed to stop uh, and allow pedestrians to cross at mid-block locations with no crosswalk, whether it's marked or, not, or unmarked, pedestrians are required to yield to vehicular traffic before crossing. Uh, and at the end of the day, you just have to take control of your safety uh, and walk defensively don't assume that drivers are going the speed limit or that they can see and stop for you. Wear bright and reflective clothing. That is always important, but we encourage all walkers uh, to cross at locations where drivers are expecting to see pedestrians, and that is at intersections and crosswalks. 
Well, Georgiana, today you've, you've really shared so much great information with us. Um, where can people go to learn more about the Space Coast TPO and these education programs? Uh, please go to our website, uh, sctpo.com, and you will find a lot of information about our safety initiatives and our programs and how to get involved. Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining us today, and thank you for pitching in on this uh, episode of The Space Between.